bitch recording. Oh, yeah. All right, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Hope I'm not covering a microphone. All right, welcome back, everybody. As you've probably seen by the title or thumbnail or whatever, this is gonna be the last XVS 650 vlog. Sad times, sad times. Um, it's not the last time you're gonna be seeing the bike because on this sad note I got good news because we got a new bike coming in yeah tomorrow I'm gonna be switching the reg registration of the bikes and the new bike is gonna come in and we're definitely gonna be vlogging a tad bit more on the new bike uh, it has been a hot fucking minute since my last video I do apologize shit has been crazy in terms of jobs you know money and life and everything's been kind of hitting me pretty hard so you know uh, the weather was a piece of shit the entire summer you know we had like more storms than we had like actual sun so there's just no point in vlogging like ever <laughs> uh but here the fuck we are this is gonna be the last xvs 650 vlog like i said so yeah um we do still have a lot of shit to do on this bike like just Rewrapping the exhaust, uh, removing all this fucking rust back here. I'm gonna be powder coating the entire rear swing arm, you know, removing the rust, uh, all sorts of shit. We'll see, we'll see. There's a lot of stuff to do on the XVS before we can actually put it out for sale, which is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm very excited. Um, the new bike is gonna be a surprise, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'll do a reveal in the next week or so. And um, we're staying in the cruiser lane. It's gonna be a bobber. We're gonna be building it, you know, new fender, new, um, new handlebar, new exhaust, all sorts of shit. I'm gonna walk you through most of the installations, probably. Like I said, I'm not that reliable. Don't, don't take me by my word, okay? I'm a lazy piece of shit. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else to say? Like you already know, I fucking hate intros, man, so let's get this thing going. And yeah, I'll see you on the bike. Yeah, I'll see you on the bike. Yeah. Alright, so I'm intrigued to see how the audio quality is sounding with the Galaxy Buds. And um, especially in terms of you know wind noise and stuff because that's usually the biggest problem with microphones you know if you don't have like a, a fuzzy something on the microphone to you know isolate for when wind noise then it, it usually sounds like ass oh popo got a runner quietly here don't hit the gas dear exhaust please no backfiring Um, so, like I said in the intro, don't be too hurt, the bike is still gonna be around, this is not the last time you're seeing it. Um, I will definitely be recording the re-wrapping of the exhaust, because that, that's an interesting topic that, you know, a lot of people want to know, hey, how the fuck do I even wrap an exhaust? I'll show you. And, you know, you'll see her standing around next to the new bike anyways, because, um, you know, until I find somebody who wants to buy this motorcycle, it's probably going to take some time, and, uh, so, somebody. Um, so we'll be building two bikes, essentially, or, you know, just kind of refreshing this one, do a small little, uh, service on it, maybe change the oils and shit, and, uh, you know, really building the other one, like, we've got to do a lot of stuff, like, we got to, uh, extend the... Uh, brake lines because we're doing ape hangers uh, we gotta be you know extending the cables as well for the electronics we're gonna be switching all the electronics so the indicators and stuff I'll see what I do uh, it's a it's a moving process uh, we'll be doing a different rear fender we'll be cutting the frame um, you know swapping the exhaust um, got a little goodie for that as well an expensive goodie <laughs> I've actually ordered a valve exhaust for the new bike which means I have a little switch on the bottom here where when I switch it the valve inside of the exhaust 
turns horizontal and opens up which you know makes the exhaust like three times louder and so you know if the valve is closed the exhaust is in a legal state pretty much so it's it's legal I can be riding around like that and as soon as I open the valve it's illegal obviously because it's way too loud um, but you know that just means that you know the police and stuff whenever they stop you for traffic stop or you know just general check um, you can just you know close the valve real quick and you're all set and good while with this one you know I can't just stop and be like can you wait a second while I install the DB killers which is gonna take like three minutes <laughs> you know I can't do that what I can do is just zip, close the valve real quick um, usually in terms of vlogging and stuff um, what really causes me to not upload is not even recording I'm not too lazy to record uh, what it is, is I, I editing really pisses me off honestly it, it's just time-consuming editing really I understand why professional youtubers have editors so they don't you know it, it really is worth your money because you know time equals money and fucking editing takes forever it, it takes like four times the recording process you know if you record like one hour of footage and you want a neat video you know with like some sort of production quality you're gonna be editing for like four or five hours and so it's that nah, I don't know that's what usually prevents me from going out and vlogging it's like oh fuck you know I'm gonna have to edit this shit <laughs> so bear with me I'm a lazy fucking asshole um, but we'll see I might get the hang of editing you know and uh, We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Alright. Or maybe I just, you know, don't... Don't cut the videos so heavily, you know, and maybe just kind of leave them a little bit more... Natural. Wait, I'll keep talking in a sec, because I gotta do my little overtake right here. Later! <laughs> God, cyclists are fucking retarded. Yeah, welcome to Hope. Um, God damn it, I should have went the other way. It's nicer back there. Yeah, we'll turn around. Fuck it. Quick little. Yeah, it's it's nicer back there. So. We're taking it to the Castanienbaum, which is back here. I'm actually not supposed to go through here, which I genuinely don't give a fuck about. This is like the rich, rich area. This is where, you know, there's like thick houses, right? You can see like really nice little properties right here, over here as well. You know, this is where, this is where the filthy rich are hanging out, pretty much. I mean, you can see casually random Karen in a G-Wagon, so, yeah, <laughs> it, it is nice back here, 
honestly. It's quiet. It's got the lake, which we'll be seeing in three, two, one. Ta da! Ah, yes. Enjoy the view. Gotta be looking at the road too, though. <laughs> It is gorgeous back here, not gonna lie. I mean, if, honestly, if I would just shit cash, I'd be living here too, so I can't blame them. I mean, there's boats and yachts. There's people with yachts here, so, like, yeah. I'll actually stop right here, just real quick. To give you guys a little little view check this is so swiss cliche right here this is what people imagine if they're thinking about switzerland is this fucking place you know people stand up paddling yachts lake mountains this is this is cliche switzerland right here let me turn around so yeah enjoy your cliche switzerland view Am I an evil person to say that whenever I watch stand-up paddling people, I just wait for them to tip over? That's probably pretty evil, yeah. Well, moving the fuck on. <clears throat> yes. Psst. Please be quiet, that's what it says. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck you and you're quiet. Uh, 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 oh god. This thing is stiff as hell. The rear rear shock on this thing is fucking... It's like I swapped the rear shock for a fucking wooden board. That's what it feels like. Alrighty guys. Um, I really, really dearly appreciate your attention, and I appreciate everybody who came back to watch this video after me being a dickhead and not uploading for like two months or so, or three months or whatever it was. And uh, whoever's watching this video, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for staying true to my to my content. You know, as little content as I um, give out, you know. <laughs> so that was pretty much the last ride on the Dragstar 650. Um, yeah, I'll be taking her back home now, and that's pretty much it, guys. Tomorrow I'll be returning its license and getting the new license registered, and then she is officially not road legal anymore. And so this is the last ride. Getting kind of sentimental here. But also my excitement for the new bike is through the roof, so it kind of equals it out, honestly. And, uh, yeah, don't be too upset, guys. You'll still be seeing her around, you know. Gotta do a little stuff here. Might even powder coat the tank, actually. Ah, but we'll talk about that in some other video, all right? So I'll see you guys in the next one. I appreciate you being around. And this is Big Block signing off.